There you go. Love the voice. All right. So I think you've seen that, you know, I know people are in various levels of this and this is a practice thing. That's why we're doing this. And a couple of things you want to get from this is the approach to problem solving. Converting meters to centimeters and that kind of thing isn't very exciting, but the approach to problem solving that we're going to use is really powerful. And that's the dimensional analysis approach. And you'll see as we progress, I use it a lot. I don't know who came up with it, but whoever did should get like a, a major reward. Uh, and what's really nice about it is that you look at a question and it, it's kind of complicated, but you know it, what it does is it can break it up into easier questions that you can answer yourself and it will literally lead you to the answer. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go through this and I'll go through the sig figs as well and um, answer questions as we go. And then of course, right afterwards, I, I'm gonna close the Zoom session when class is over, just so I can get the data from who was here and all. And then I'll open it back up for lab, of course. And those of you who are not in lab, if you have additional questions uh, after about 1140, when their lab quiz is over, if you wanna pop in, it's the same Zoom room. All right, otherwise I have office hours on Monday. All right, so let me go ahead and get started on these. Just gonna look at everything here. All right, so I just worked my way through. So the first thing you always wanna do on these is make sure you write down the units of your answer. Also, I had one individual was having some uh, formatting issues with the, it looked weird on, on the screen uh, and it didn't seem like it was pervasive, but if you do have an issue where, you know, things are moved all over the place, please ask me what it's supposed to look like. And, uh, and I can certainly help you with that. I don't want you to have trouble with a problem because you don't know what the question is. A good habit to get into is always, always, always write down the units of the answer. I've seen students so many times do a really good, do everything right, but they answered the wrong question. And that's frustrating, but you know, it's just a good approach. So typically if you have one letter and two letters, it should be a one step. Now you need to memorize, and I'm pretty sure I put it on a slide, centi, milli, micro, kilo, mega, um, the conversion from uh, cubic centimeters to liters and the Kelvin to Celsius one. Other than that, I would probably give them to you, all right? So this one we can do in one step. We want meters on the bottom, and please excuse my handwriting, all right? And we want centimeters on the top. And then we know the letter C, centi, means 10 to the minus two. All right, so that letter C means this. So now I'll look at the units cancel, and then we do the math. You don't have to put it in scientific notation if you don't want to. I typically switch over at about three, three zeros. And so when we do the math on this. This is going to be five, four, six, zero. This number has three sig figs. This number only has three sig figs. That zero is not a significant zero. If you wanted to put it in scientific notation, again, you don't have to. It would be 5.46 times 10 to the third centimeter. It's also a good idea to do a, uh, to develop a feel for, does my answer make sense? And that's something that you have to develop a feel for. The way to develop that feel, this is early on, is, is just practice and ask yourself. But a meter is like a yard. So 54 meters, you know, 50 yards, centimeters about the width of your finger. So there should be a lot of them, All right, All right. Uh, for B, we're going from 18, 0 0.10 milligrams and milligrams are small. Remember, you think like an aspirin tablet, 500 milligrams, and we want to go to grams. Again, since it's a two letter to one letter, should be able to do it in one step. We want grams on the top and we want milligrams on the bottom. Always check your units that your units do indeed cancel. And then the lowercase m, milli, means 10 to the minus three. Okay, make sure the units work. And so this is going to be, I always never leave myself enough room, 0 0.081810. So that front zero is not significant, but this last zero is. These numbers here are pure numbers. They do not affect your sig figs. All right, so that has four sig figs. 
All right, C, 358 kilometers. So a kilometer is about a half a mile. Uh, and we want to get centimeters. So centimeters, again, the width of your finger. So we should get a big number. Now here, we have two letters and two letters. Now, if you happen to know, because you grew up in the metric system, the relationship between centimeters and kilometers, then you can do that in one step. I don't expect you to know that. I don't know that, all right? But I do know, anytime you have a unit with two letters, you can relate it to the unit with one letter. And since we have kilometers here, we need kilometers down here to cancel. We can relate it to meters. The, upper, the lower case K means 10 to the positive three or a thousand. Again, you wanna cancel as you go. And then we did centi before. So we want meters in the bottom and we want centimeters in the top and a centimeter is 10 to the minus two meters. Make sure your units cancel. And then you wanna, this is gonna be, you can do this on your calculator. I, I encourage people to use their calculators. I know some of my colleagues in the math department don't feel that way, but I'm not in the math department, All right? And so this is gonna be 3.58 times 10 to the seventh. You wanna make sure that you can get the same answer as me because there's a lot of uh, calculator errors I see and I, I like to see them early in the semester because that way I can fix them. I don't want you to make calculator mistakes. And by all means, if you're having trouble with your calculator, uh, <coughs> pop by an office hour, more than happy to go through it. It's kind of hard for me to see it, but at most calculators I can figure out. But just to make sure that if you're doing exponents, just to show you on a, cal on a calculator briefly with this one, uh, there's a key on calculators that's either a capital E or it's an EE. -E. It depends on the brand of the calculator or it might be EXP. That key means times 10 to that. So th I would do this on a calculator. I would go 358 times. Then you have to go one times 10 to the third. One, I'm gonna use the double E. That's what my calculator does. One E three, that's in the bottom. So then you go divided by one. And you may have to hit the shift key for the double E depending on your calculator and then minus two. And how you do the minus two, there might be a plus minus key or you may just hit the minus. That should give it to you. Those would be kind of your key strengths. Make sure you can do that because like I said, I see early on, I see way more calculator errors than other I see a, something there, is that, does that say? Uh, if you wrote 358 times 10 to the fifth, someone asked that, you can do that. I'm not picky about that. If you do that and Canvas marks it wrong, I would fix it when I grade. But it's, it's good to get in the habit. Scientific notation has one digit to the left of the decimal. Good question. All right, let me do, where am I? D. All right, so D, let me make this go away. So D is similar, we're going 5,900 micrograms and we want to go to milligrams. So again, it's similar because they're going from two letters to two letters, right? Two letters to two letters. So want to go to grams and move to, I'm going to do this one backwards just to show you how to do them backwards. So let's say I don't know what to do. What to do. I want milligrams. So milligrams are going to go on the top. I can always relate milligrams to grams. Milli means 10 to the minus three. All right. And then that means, okay, look, I need to do grams on the top, a lot of space here, huh? And micrograms on the bottom. Micro means 10 to the minus sixth. And so this is gonna be 5,900 times So it's gonna be 5.9. And those zeros are not significant. Down here. All 
All right, let's do E. Okay, E is a conversion to Kelvin. So Kelvin is degrees Celsius plus 273.15. And that 0.15, that does have sig figs. So to do these, we're gonna go from 22.5 and we're gonna add 273.15. So when you remember when you add and subtract with sig figs, it's the decimal place. So the last significant figure is the guess. So if you haven't had an opportunity to watch the sig fig videos, you definitely want to do that before that we meet next. So this said uh, that five is the guess, that five is the guess. So when we add these up to 95.65, we actually have two guesses. See that? And you can't have two guesses, you only get one. So then you got to round that to 295, whatever you were taught to do with a five, do that. If you called it six or seven, I would still give you credit because by the rules of sig figs, the it's plus or minus one in that guess anyway. All right. We got lots of time, that's good. I'd rather that we end and have extra time. All right. So F, now this is when we have a, a unit cube. So that's a little trickier, 0 0.00. Whoops, see how I did it? I actually put in an extra zero. 0 0.0295 meters cubed. And then we want to get to liters. And so if you look at this at first glance, you're like, oh my God, I have no idea. I don't even know what to do. But again, liters, we know because you're going to memorize 1,000 cubic centimeters is one liter. So you need to memorize that. So one liter. And again, if you grew up in the metric system, you don't have to memorize anything because you already did. We want liters on the top. So now we can do this in one step, one letter, two letters but they're cubed. So we need cubic centimeters on the top and cubic meters on the bottom. Now, this is where this gets a little tricky, all right? We know this is a cubed relationship. We know one centimeter is 10 to the minus two meters. How do we know that? Because we memorized it. But we want this cubed. Well, remember from your math class, if A equals B, then a to the n equals b to the n. So that means one centimeter whole thing though. You're not cubing just the unit. The unit and the number go together. 10 to the minus two meters quantity cubed. I'm gonna erase this little mathematical thingy. And so that means, I'm just kind of over here, one cubed is one. 10 to the minus two cubed is 10 to the minus sixth. So that means we have a one here, we have a 10 to the minus sixth here, but my units work. And then doing the math, 0 0.0295 divided by, whoops, 0 0.0295 divided by one E divided by is, I get 29.5 liters. And that's two sig figs, I'm sorry, three sig figs because of the 295. So make sure when you cube something that you don't just cube, the, the common mistake students make is they cube the unit but don't cube the number. If you think, I think I drew a picture on the video or on the PowerPoint. Uh, if you think if it's literally a cube, that's a, that's a meter on a side is, right, is 100 centimeters on a side. All right, so this one, it says it's a challenging question. That's because it is. Uh, so we're gonna go from 15, oops, pounds per cubic inch. We're trying to get over here, the grams per milliliter. All right, so when you have two units like this, do one at a time. Don't make your, you know, who wants to make their life more difficult? Nobody. 15, what was it again? 
pounds per cubic inch. So uh, you're told in the problem that we can make pounds go away. We know that there's one kilogram. So this kind of stuff, I wouldn't expect you to memorize. I would give it to you, 2.2 pounds, All right? So that cancels. And now we can go from kilograms to grams. And again, you can see why you wanna cancel as you go, all right? Because otherwise it's gonna get really confusing. I know that uh, there's 10 to the third grams in a kilogram. All right, so now I've got grams. So now I need to go from cubic inches to milliliters. Now I don't know anything that relates to that, but I was told that, there, that I can get the inches to go away. So I know that there's 2.54 centimeters in one inch. Using the same idea here that we did down here, 2.54 centimeters cubed is one inch cubed. And we know to do that because we're trying to get inches cubed to go away. And I, again, I apologize for the handwriting. So this comes out to be 16.4. I was doing this in a breakout room and I did all this and then I wrote 2.54 and someone caught it. So if you see me make a mistake, please say it right away because otherwise it's gonna be in everyone's notes wrong, all right? And I make mistakes, you write a book. 16, and we want inches in the inches cubing in the top, 16.5.4 cubic centimeters in the bottom. So we, the inches problem is solved. Now, again, we have cubic centimeters and milliliters. So we don't know that, but we do know this, right? We know that there's a thousand cubic centimeters in a liter. So we want cubic centimeters on the top. And then, oh, wow, look at liters, milliliters. So we know that, I'll move that over a little bit. We know that 10 to the minus three liters is one milliliter. And I'm putting milliliters in the bottom because I want it in the bottom. So this one, if you saw a question like this on a test and it said 10 points, don't go, oh my God, it's 10 points. Go, wow, what a lot of opportunity for partial credit. All right, so 15 divided by 2.2 is 1,000. I get, now this is only gonna have two sig figs because of the 15. So it says four, six, four 15.74 or whatever, uh, but I have to round this to 420 because it's two sig figs. That one's got a lot of love to it. But you see, you can't let a problem intimidate you. Just plug away, do whatever you can. And frequently each step will lead to the next step. So I don't know what to do, but I know, okay, I know, I know how I have was given the kilograms to, to pounds. And then each step kind of tells me what the next step is. That's what's nice about dimensional analysis. Just plug away and sometimes go, then the light bulb will go on somewhere. All right, let me scroll this up. So these ones are just um, sig fig questions, the last couple. So H. This was G, by the way, H. So this is a simple subtraction. You just have to watch your sig figs. So 13.85, when you're doing addition subtraction, it's not how many sig figs, it's where the guess is. I'm gonna just move this over, just a little, move this down. So it's easier to do it vertically. I mean, you can do this on your calculator. 13.85 minus 13.70. Now, both of these have four sig figs. The five is the guess here. The zero is the guess here. So when I get my answer 0.15, I have a guess there. That's it. I, I dropped to two sig figs, but that's it. It's pretty straightforward. I, this, this, and you're going to see this when you're doing uh, experiment one. I start doing experiment one in the lab. You're going to see um, this is like an error calculation. So this one has mixed operations. We've got addition, subtraction, and multiplication, division. 
So it's a good idea to try to keep track of where your uncertainty is. So I'll do the first part. Uh, I'm not going to write the whole problem here, but I have 0 0.0871 minus 0 0.08206. Okay, the guess on the first one is in the one is the one. Here it's the six. The last sig fig is a guess. So 0 0.0871 minus 0 0.08206 is 0 0.00504. And I have two guesses. The zero is a guess because of that one, and the four is a guess. Someone's got their mic open. Let me see. Oh, there's something came up in the chat. Let me see it. Why did on this bet went up here? Why did I convert to grams first? It was arbitrary. I just decided to do the unit on top first. You could do the unit on bottom first. It doesn't matter. I just, it, you know, it's our, but just do them one at a time is the most important thing. Sorry if I didn't notice the chat. Feel free to holler out if I missed something. All right. Uh, so this uh, is going to be two sig figs. What I'm going to do for the for the division though is I'm going to keep the extra digit around later. So then 0 0.00504, but just remember this only has two sig figs over 0 0.08206, which has four sig figs. When you multiply and divide, you drop to the fewest sig figs. So this is going to have two sig figs. So this is going to be 0 0.061. Hang on one second. I'm just gonna. I don't know what that was. That was weird. All right, the last one, Jay. Um, so this one. You got to do the stuff in the parentheses. So 9.1 plus 3.6. Okay, this is addition. So the one is the guess, the six is the guess. So I have 12.7. I only have one sig fig. So that has three sig figs. The 14, so we're going to do that, and that's going to be time. So we're going to write, I'll do it over here. here hang on. It's going to kind of keep track. So then it's going to be. 12.7 times. And the other one, 14.55. The five is the guess. 12.35. That five is the guess. So I'm going to have 0, 0962, 26.90. That, that, that zero is significant because it's in that decimal place. So this has four sig figs, 26.90. But this has three sig figs. This has four sig figs. So my answer will have three sig figs. 12.7 times 26.9. And so that's going to be 342. I'm rounding it. It's a good habit to get into to keep an extra digit when you like something like this, right? Make a note of it. You'll see when we do the other, when you go through the slides on um, the density and specific heat slides, which are coming up for you, where I do problems that are more complicated and have multiple operations. And so we do the sig figs that way. I, I, we keep an extra digit around later. I see another chat thing. Let me pull it up. Yeah, and the, the answer, yeah, the, the yeah, the people answering you in the chat are correct. That 00504, that if you if you wrote it 504, it has three sig figs, but because of here, it only has two. So I'm making a note. Most people will tell you keep an extra digit around at the end. If it really confuses you, if you round it each step, it's not the best way to do it. But if it really confuses you, it's not it's not terrible because rounding errors are designed to cancel. But sometimes they don't. And so if you round up and then you round up and then you round up, you actually could be way off, especially if you're multiplying. All right. Okay, so, sorry. So you, for uh, number I, I? Uh, you suggest to not round, but keep in mind which one would be 
the least significant yeah. digit. Yeah. When I but, did it by yeah. calculator, I kept the four. But if you did yeah. it now, okay. right? If you did it, if you go 0 0.0050 oh, divided by 0 0.08206, it still comes out 0 0.061. Mm -hmm. Right? So, and remember that last sig fig is, is plus or minus one anyway. But yeah, the good habit to get into is keep one extra digit. You know, don't keep five extra digits because each digit that you're keeping is only ten, is only one tenth, right, of the decimal place before it. But keep it, keep one extra. But just make a note of where, where your last sig fig is when you have mixed operations. And again, in the next set of slides you go through, you'll see I do more with that. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right. I'm done talking. I can open it up. I'll open it up to questions. Otherwise. Uh, those of you in lab, I am going to close Zoom in between lecture and lab so I can do my bookkeeping and I'll open it back up at 1110. I'm going to stop the share and I'll answer questions and then I'm also going to stop the recording and like I said, I'll create a module. It'll, it's going to be called um, Zoom recordings, I guess, or something like that. I'm going to put it right below the welcome module and that's where I'll put the recordings from the uh, the in class sessions. So those of you who are leaving, have a great day. Uh, those of you who have questions, now's a good time to ask them. I am going to shut this down in about six minutes, though. So we just upload this as a PDF. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Please upload it. Thank you, Professor. Yeah, please upload. It. Okay, and we have until yeah. two to upload it. Yeah, it, it closes at two, but you know that I think yeah yeah you have till two. Okay. It will that be a normal thing or will it usually yeah, close so when I the do, I do it that way because I know I know some people it's like you got it, but it takes a minute to upload, you gotta to run to do something. Right, right. If you ever run into a situation like you know, like something came up, just shoot me an email or put it in the email. Do you prefer it gets uploaded to campus? Yeah. Okay. So I'm Thank not you. gonna look at it until later today or even tomorrow. And remember that question that says attend Zoom. You guys don't have to do anything with that. That's me. I take care of that. Professor, we upload it on the quiz, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Canvas, is struct I structure a lot of things as quizzes. That's a, place, that's a good place to turn things in. So just to check, we don't have any like homework but we should be looking over the slides for next class. Yeah. And if we well, haven't looked over the slides that we should have already done, then those. Yeah, you definitely want to look through the slides and the videos. And then the homework, I'm not grading it. So there are, so homework one, like I even put that in the schedule and it says in the module, you should be able to do homework one. And then there's the questions. You should definitely take the time to go through them. And make sure you can do them. I don't. I do post the the answers are posted below as well. But I'm not going to grade those. In summer, it's okay. It's just too fast for you to do it. Turn into me, me to grade it, get it back to you. It's just it's too short a window. Okay. So nothing nothing would be due, but look over the slides and do the activity, the homework as a practice. Absolutely. Okay. Um, for I think you might have mentioned this already, but for the exam, what's the calculator that you allow? I don't have a calculator restriction yet. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I don't want you to use a tablet, right, where you could look things up. But yeah. If you're using a fancy like a TI-84 or something like that, I don't, you know, that's fine. I, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, because my, I have a lower level um, scientific calculator, but it's dead or something so i just have an 84 plus yeah those are great. So, those, yeah those actually the, the 84s the only problem with those is to do simple they're, they're really great at complicated stuff simple yeah. stuff sometimes harder on them i have this is what i use i love this one they're just oh yeah better. yeah that's the like, one i have but it's dead for some reason yeah, but it's it's got stuff. like the solar panel thing on it so i don't uh, really know yeah, I don't, I don't really know what the deal is. Um, it might have just been in a drawer for too long or something, but. Get out in the sun, yeah. see if that helps. Yeah, yeah I, I did, and I, I don't know. It didn't seem to work, but I'm not giving up on it yet, but I just want to check that what I have is okay for the yeah, exam. Yeah, make sure okay. you know how to use it, though, for sure. Okay, All right. thank you. Uh -huh. Yes, sir, yeah. for um, 
the file i have two files in it and in an only can fit one so how do i upload the other one you can, you can i have the same issue <laughs> you, you can um you should be able to make them into one file okay i'll PDF reader, like even on your phone uh, i know on an iphone the notes app you mm -hmm. can take pictures and it can merge them into one file. okay Okay. Oh, we can merge them? That, you can just send them as attachments and email them. There might be right, a way. I'm going to stop the recording because I don't think we need to record this part. That's fine. Yeah. Where is. Um...